Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. So today, I thought I'd do a video around mental health and anxiety and stress related to school because I go through it all of it and I, I can guarantee that a lot of people do as well and it's a, it's a topic that is easily, easily relatable so I wanted to touch on it a little bit. Before I get into the video, I wanted to let you guys know that I am doing a talk at the Black Girl Convention in Bristol on the 25th of November and it is at, at Bristol, which is now we'd be curious, but I hate the name so I call it at Bristol. And yeah, tickets are on sale now, I'll leave the link down below in the description. And I hope you guys can come and watch me do my talk on sports and mental health. So, let's get on with the video. So I wanted to touch on anxiety and stress because it's one thing that I think you can't really prepare for but it's good to know about so i'm in year 13 which is like second year of college and i'm under the most amount of stress and there's so many deadlines and homework and stuff that i that i gotta do in this stressful as hell but i think people don't always emphasize what c comes to the, the, the stress so over the last year or two i've suffered a lot from anxiety and panic attacks just from where i get myself quite over overwhelmed and i think i overthink things and then that just stresses me out so usually when i get a lot of work in or I know that I got a certain deadline that I got to do something by, and it's like tomorrow. I usually do get a bit worked up and a bit stressed, and then that would sometimes call me to have an anxiety attack. And people have anxiety attacks in different ways. My way, my anxiety attacks are so when I have one, I tend to go quite, quite quiet, and I tend to like not talk to anyone. And I'm just kind of st I'm stuck in my own thoughts. So the only way that I can describe it is that it's like I like I'm, I'm outside of my body, so I'm talking to people, but nothing's. But I'm not actually I'm not actually saying anything. If you get what I mean, it's hard to just describe. But it's like see if you were outside your body, looking down at yourself, and someone's talking to you, you're re replying, but your body isn't, it's really, it's really odd. But that's one thing that I get when I have an anxiety attack. And then the other thing that I get is that I overthink everything, and I catastrophize, and I think of the, the worst thing that can happen. And then I got myself worked up, and I am, it's, it's the most stressful thing ever. But... I think without without those anxiety attacks, I wouldn't ever be able to just get my work done. Like, I don't need it to get my work done, but having the anxiety attack r r reminds me how important it is to me. Because I'm only having that attack because I know that this is, this is important and I have to get it done. So... In a way, they are helpful because it helps me rationalize, rationalize my thoughts and make me realize, like, oh my god, I have to get this done today and just get it out of the way and like I can relax. Otherwise, I'll just stress about it for more time and waste more time and catastrophize even more when I get nothing done. So I think. Although the anxiety attacks are bad, they are actually useful for me because they get, they kind of, they make me realise how, how I'm feeling as well and how important what I'm feeling is, if that makes sense. So one thing that I tend to do is that I'm, I'm, I'm not very emotional and I like, people say that I'm quite cold, which I am. 
but I'm not very original, so like, if, uh, if you watch his sad film, I'll be the one sat there, like, smiling. <laughs> like, I'm, uh, I'm not very emotional. But when I, when I do get emotional, I do it through my emotion. So I tend to hold it in quite a lot, which I need to learn not to do, because when I just hold it in, it gets all bottled up, and then it just, over time, it's like my emotion builds build up until something to make me crack, and then I'll be like, depressed for like five days, and like, not wanting to eat, not wanting to talk to anyone, not wanting to do anything. So I think, uh, I think I just need to learn to be a little bit more open about my feelings and talk about them more. And I wanted to say this on YouTube because I think it's a relatable topic that a lot, not, not a lot of people talk about how they feel. And I recently did a counselling session for like six weeks. And doing that was absolutely amazing. And she showed me like techniques on the how to show my emotion without getting not getting too emotional but like being able to speak my emotions without it hurting even more. It sounds really weird when I say it out loud. But like say if I'm really sad, instead of going to my room and like crying about it, I should be I should be able to say like I'm not feeling good today, like, this has really uh, upset me. And be able to talk about it instead of letting the, the emotion, like, overwhelm me. And I've never had anyone say that to me before. So that really has, like, changed a lot for me. And I now I think I am more emotional. Like, I'm, I'm not a cry person. But if I'm angry, I will say, like, I'm angry, like, you... You've known me today, <laughs> but I have a bit more of a voice, which I think I needed to learn to have, which is uh, actually really exciting. When I have an anxiety attack, and I am stuck within my own thoughts, and I'm catastrophized, and I can't get anything that, the, there's a few things that help me like get myself out of that situation. One of them is music, like music actors. Music saved my life like so many times. And I especially like listening to like motivational songs and like songs that relate to how I'm feeling at that time. And because it just helped me realise that I'm not alone in this, in feeling this way. And that everyone feels like this sometimes, but you just got to get up and like get through it. And I think my favourite song for that right now is Breathing by Ariana Grande because one thing that I do when I have an anxiety attack is that I forget to breathe. So just listening to that song, <laughs> it kind of reminds me to breathe and just like calm myself down, which is so amazing. Uh, especially as when I, I'm in, a, in an anxiety attack, I kind of block everyone out. So. There's no one there to tell me to breathe and calm myself down. So listen to that is like really important <laughs> and really useful. Um, another artist that I like listening to is Billie Eilish because a lot of her songs are quite dark and like weary, but they always have like a positive twist, like to help you feel better about yourself. So that's another artist, artist that I really would recommend. Um, another thing that I do is that I'm I know that I like a diary, but I I do I didn't like writing, so I write it in my notes in my, in my phone, and every day I just write a few paragraphs or sentences about how I felt that day, how I felt that they went, what I'm gonna do to tomorrow to feel better, and just just doing that. Has, literally make me a lot happier in my day to day life. If I'm really angry one day I can let all my anger out and just think it all through and I think okay tomorrow I can sort it out by doing this or tomorrow I'll be happier by doing this. And it is it's literally the most useful thing that I've done over the last few months for my, my mental health. So if you are feeling a way where you want to avoid your 
opinions and feelings, but you don't know how or you don't want to voice it to a person, then always just type it in your phone or write it in your journal and just let everything out and you'll feel much better for it. And it just like, it allows you to relax and breathe and just restart, I guess. So it's a really good, it's a really useful method. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also don't forget about the Black Girl Convention, which is on the 25th of November, starting at 11 to 7. And tickets are out now. They, they, I think they go out, they finish on Thursday, which is the 23rd. So go get them now. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you for watching. Bye.